This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. We're going to be dealing with uh, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. As clouds will be on the increase overnight into the early morning hours tomorrow. Temps are going to hold up there, though, thanks to those clouds. We have another mild day coming tomorrow before things change as we turn colder on Thursday. Looks like some snow showers are coming in late in the day for your Valentine's Day and then an active, fairly active long-term forecast coming for us as well. Hit 35 yesterday, 13 was our low. We're warmer than 35 right now across the area. Nothing in the rain gauge, still just a few hundred shy of where we should be for the month and the year. Well, we told you an active long range forecast is coming and it starts with a look at our temperatures. Look at this huge part of the country uh, it's expected to be below normal in temperatures for the next six to 10 days. Below normal temperatures dive clear down into Phoenix, LA, uh, the West Coast, the Southwest, well below normal. And that's where we're at too, well below normal in our region. Uh, in fact, almost a certainty uh, that we're heading below normal over the seven to 10 day period. Precip going to be above normal uh, in a, most of the country as well especially here in the southeast around Atlanta. And those areas expected to be much above normal for precip. We have a decent shot of having above normal precip. So that leads us with not only uh, colder than normal temperatures, but maybe wetter than normal precip conditions out there as well. So a pretty active uh, next couple weeks coming for us, I think here across the region. Look at this variance of temperatures right now. It's 44 in Hayes and in Goodland. One below in Watertown, six below in Sioux Falls. That cold air is retreated to the northeast and away from us. 45 right now in Ogallala. How about that? Sydney at 40. It's 34 up in Lusk. Winds are out of the west, southwest. Not too bad. 5 to 15 miles an hour. Uh, lighter winds up around Mullen and Valentine. Uh, wind chills, though, pretty much out there in the uh, upper 20s and low 30s across western Nebraska and southeastern portions of Wyoming. Let's take a look at uh, as we get on the bus tomorrow heading out to school at about uh, 26 degrees. It looks like we'll be into the uh, 50s on your way home under partly cloudy skies. So all in all, fairly nice conditions. Well, I got you a card here for Valentine's Day. You can't get them in stores, but we'll drop out some conversation hearts for you in the 20s in the morning. Uh, on Valentine's Day, probably into the 30s by noon and back into the 20s with snow developing as we get towards dinner time on th uh, Valentine's Day on Thursday. Let's look at future cast for today. Skies are going to be uh, partly cloudy, uh, increasing clouds then overnight. Lows are going to fall into the uh, 20s tonight across the region. Colder up around Valentine, 18 in Ogallala, 17 in Valentine, 21 in Scottsbluff, 26 in Torrington. That deck of clouds will stay with us in the morning. It'll start to lift, give way to partly cloudy skies as we go through the afternoon. Notice late tomorrow night and as we get close to Thursday, Valentine's Day, here comes some clouds from the north and the snow going to start to fill in behind it uh, from north to south across the region. Look at these highs tomorrow, near 60 in Oshkosh, 50 Gordon and Shadron and in Torrington. Very nice weather conditions tomorrow as we trend back towards another milder day, but we told you an active long range forecast. Here's Thursday. So we told you that snow comes in from the north and then it redevelops late Thursday night into Friday morning. It zips across the region. It moves fairly fast only to have another round come in Friday night into Saturday morning and it moves out. Uh, and again, we could see another round again on Sunday. These are early looks at snowfall, a little better than what they were looking at yesterday in terms of snow totals, higher snow totals across the region. A couple inches not out of the question uh, with both of the storm systems added together Thursday night into Friday and again Friday night into Saturday. We'll keep an eye on this and keep you updated as we get closer. 21 tonight under mostly cloudy skies. Not too bad. Winds decrease out there tomorrow. 54. Some sunshine late in the day after a cloudy start to the day. And those mild conditions come to an end then for Valentine's Day. Snow showers come in late. Highs in the mid-30s. Friday, we may get into the low 40s with some wintry mix or snow turning over to snow Friday night into Saturday morning, only in the 30s on Saturday. Then look at Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We trend much colder out there with temperatures into the 20s and lows back into the single digits, even slipping below zero Monday night into Tuesday morning.